five kilowatt battery install in a canopy in a four wheel drive. Bit unheard of, but hey, it's gonna be mint. Let's have a quick rundown and a go through of the of all the specs, parts, how I did it, why I did it, and hopefully how it's gonna perform when it's done. So come along, let's go. We'll do a quick rundown of what it is. Eight cells, three volts, 3.2 volts each, 210 amp hours, wired into a 24 volt configuration. I'm still working on it, but I'm gonna do this part of the video now. Uh, it's five, just over five kilowatt of battery storage. It's gonna run a Vitron Multi Plus 2 3000 watt inverter, which will go on the left hand side. A little fridge will go here, 12 volt oven, induction cooktop, little slide out tray, it's gonna be mint, absolutely awesome. I'm just gonna bring the camera a bit closer and give you a quick pan around of all the bits and pieces. And then what I'll do is I'll go into, I'll go inside and I'll do a voiceover on the computer with um, the mount, like the cursor, and I'll point to each bit and I'll give you a rundown as to where each cable goes and why it goes from there to there and what it does. So I think that'll be the best explanation because I can do it a lot easier than rather try and film this process as I'm building it because it's taken quite a while to build and I've changed a few things here and there and moved some stuff and if it wasn't for the boys at Alt Tech in Welshpool in Perth uh, helping me out here, been a few emails and phone calls back and forth, uh, we couldn't have got to this stage where we are now. So big shout out to you guys, thank you very much. And if you need any, if you're in Australia and you need any solar gear of any description, whether it's a fuse, an inverter, a 20 kilowatt system, anything you want, send them an email, they'll design it for you, give you a price and ship it to you. They are awesome. All right, let's have a bit of a closer look inside here. We've started off with four cells on the bottom. Uh, this is a negative side. So negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And then we go from a positive up to a negative, positive, negative, Positive, negative, positive, negative, and we finish with a positive. So between that terminal there and this terminal here, we will have 24 volts at 210 amp hours, which is just over five kilowatt of battery storage. Then we go up top here, and this is where I'll do a quick explanation now, but this is where I'll go inside and I'll give you a proper rundown uh, on the computer with the mouse pointing to all the components with hopefully a lot better photo. So, but basically the negative comes up to the BMS on this side. And you can see that cable is just hanging there because I haven't cut that to length yet or crimped on the terminal. And so that battery negative goes to this side. And then from this side of the BMS, we have a cable, a uh, big cable, 50 square mil that runs all the way, follows my finger up here, across the top and it goes to the right hand side of the shunt. Now I know you're I know you're wondering where's all these wires from the for the balancer and the BMS onto the battery? Well stay tuned that's another explanation. So basically once you come out of the shunt which is on the left hand oh we're losing a bit of focus here hang on it's focusing on my finger. Once we come out of the shunt which is on the left hand side I've taken it to a distribution post right there and that is essentially our finished negative post for the battery. So if you were to buy a lithium battery from the shop that was say, you know, whatever, 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, and it looks like a normal battery, right? It'll have the, uh, like a built-in balancer and a built-in BMS, and all you'll have is like two terminals on, on the top, a positive and a negative. So essentially, this is my positive here, and that's my negative there. All the rest is, um, 
sort of hidden. Now, as for the BMS, which is that thing over here, all right? It's a um, it's a max current, max charging current is 100 amp, and max discharge is 200 amp. All right. Then we come to the B. Uh, well, actually, this is the wiring for the balancer. So balancer, that little gizmo there. So quick tip when wiring up this, you'll see that there is a lot of coloured wires here. Don't get fooled or don't get intimidated by all the colours. All the colours are a little bit irrelevant. They could all be one colour. It doesn't matter. And what's important is, is this black wire right down the bottom here. This black wire is the negative. Okay, so that one wire is the start of our wiring from the negative side, right there. And this clip only plugs in one way into the balancer. So this one wire, black wire, starts there. As you work your way along, we'll call the, we'll just call these wires like as they go to a battery number. So you can see I've, you might not be able to see, but I've just written on the batteries in, in Sharpie, B1, B2, B3, B4, five, six, seven, eight. This black wire goes to the negative post on battery one. The next wire in line goes to the positive post on battery one. The next wire in line, in this case is the green one, goes to the positive post on battery two. Third wire along, or the fourth wire along, including the negative, so the fourth wire along, goes to uh, the positive post on the next battery. And basically you just keep working your way along and then you'll finish on a red one here, which is your last positive post up there. Now I've just kind of made this little loom and it's in two bits because uh, this one does the top row of batteries and this one is a bit longer because it's got to reach down to the bottom row of batteries. Okay, so you can see here We've got our first wire, which is our black negative, and then that's our positive, which goes onto the same battery, and then the next wire along goes onto that one, and then the next wire along goes onto that one, and then the next one along goes onto that one. That's basically it. Okay, so this is our little plug, and again, it only goes in one way into the top of the BMS, right? And this will basically plug in the top and it will come down the side like that. We have a black, same deal. Black goes on the first, on battery one, negative. Start with the negative and then work the rest of these wires along in order as they come out of this plug. So the next wire, which is this one, goes on to the positive over there. And then you just keep working around, next one, goes on to the next positive, next one, next positive, and so on until you come up to there. So I've just got to extend these because they're only short. So I'll extend them and I'll run them in like four wires down here and four up there, and then we'll hook them all onto the terminals. Now, most important, when you're wiring these, these up, do not plug them in into the balancer or the BMS until every single wire is connected to the batteries. So once they're all connected, then you can plug them into the relevant devices. And you'll also notice here, I have a, whoop, I have a big fuse holder and there's no fuse in it. And I have another fuse holder here that holds two fuses and there's no fuses in it. So leave all the fuses out until last when everything is ready to be commissioned. Now I have these two big cables coming down the side because they are going to go to the inverter and then I need to run another cable, say this size, say 50 mil that comes from the positive on this battery and I will just loop it around in, in some conduit along there and that will go through a maybe like a gland to protect it from the, the aluminium and that goes on to the battery positive and that's my final positive. 
like the actual battery positive. So don't worry about all this stuff here. All right, there's no positives or negatives in there. The actual negative and positive for the finished battery is battery positive and battery negative. So hopefully that's a good description of me pointing to stuff with my with my cursor here. So now we'll get a photo and we will put it on the computer and I'll do a bit of a overlay with the mouse and we'll zoom in on each bit and we will discuss what each bit does. Right, so let's have a little rundown about what all these little blue boxes do and this one here and this one here and why I put them in there. All right, so we'll just start from the left. So basically we're running a 24 volt battery system and this little blue box here is a 24 to 12 volt reducer. So it's good for 12 volts, it can handle 20 amps and about 200 watts approximately. So we're just running a few small things off that like some 12 volt LED lights and eventually a 12 volt water pump. So that's what that one does. Now we move over to this one here. Now this is called a smart shunt. So basically everything that consumes power on this system comes off here, which is my battery negative and this is my battery positive. But for now we're just talking about the negative. So we have the fridge currently running off that and then we will also have the uh, inverter running off that. So that monitors how much draw of current you're taking out of the batteries. So basically, uh, I can bring up my little Bluetooth screen because all these are Bluetooth, right? Apart from this one, I don't think that one has Bluetooth. So I bring up my Bluetooth screen and for example, the fr say I've got the fridge on and the fridge is running, the fridge will say, you have approximately 10 days left of charge to run the fridge. Now, if I turn uh, the inverter on and I go to use the power from the inverter, that may drop down to an example, uh, you have three days, six hours left of that current, current draw. So it's a good way of just logging in on your phone to seeing how much charge you've got. It also has like a percentage uh, chart which shows you how much battery percentage you have left as well. Uh, then we've got this one here. Now this is a DC to DC charger. So this comes off the battery under the bonnet of the car. So it supplies 12 volt in and it converts it to a 24 volt up to 15 amp charge. So that is what is charging uh, these batteries here. So when the car starts, this charger is activated and then it starts charging the batteries. And then when the car turns off, this is deactivated and you've got all parameters in the Bluetooth settings that you can select all voltages to disconnect it at. So if you want to disconnect it at 12 volts, you can or 13 or 12.95 or anything you like. They're like really programmable. And then we come over to this one. Now this is an MPPT charge controller. Now this basically controls the solar panel input. So as you can see, uh, these two wires here, they go to the battery, right? So when I say go to the battery, they go to, they go th down, down here, through a fuse, onto my battery positive and then the negative one the negative one here that comes out of it goes up to my smart shunt right there so what that does is you plug your solar panels into these two ports here 
and this one is a is rated at 75 volts and 15 amps so it can take up to 75 volts and 15 amps and then that will convert the charge got from the solar panel into a charge that the battery can accept so i do have this switch to 24 volt because this is a 12 volt or a 24 volt mppt so it is charging a 24 volt battery so that's what that that one does right and now we've got this one here which is the balancer now the balancer is kind of i guess the main goal is i'm not i'm not a hundred percent too te too technically sure how to describe the balancer or the bms uh, i've only had a small amount of experience with them but the balancer just make sure that the cells are charged equally and not overcharged i'm pretty sure that's what it does and as far as this here goes the bms that controls the input charge and the output charge as in the discharge of the batteries and make sure that the batteries are working equally now i probably need to do a bit more research myself on these two devices i know how to wire them up but i can't really give a hundred percent explanation of the technicality of what they do so hopefully what i've kind of gone with kind of helps you out a bit now i will just add also i have in this install this is aluminium channel it's approximately 80 mil wide by 40 mil deep and it's four millimeters thick so i have that lined with a sticky sponge so sticky on one side and sponge on the other and then i've infilled it just with some foam and secure them down with these little bent tags here and they will get uh, those screws get changed to bolts with nylocks and that's what clamps the battery in so they're actually very very rigid in there but if you were to do an install yourself um, oh, look there's a, there's 20 different ways you could do it you know you could make a little timber box and put all the batteries in you could put them in a drawer you could do a little perspex box which looks pretty cool you know, there's, there's a multitude of ways that you can install the batteries. That's why I haven't gone into how I put the batteries in. Because that is just your preference of choice. So, and this will get lined with timber. So there'll be, uh, timber sits on that lip there. And it goes to the top of this angle here. And that'll be like a false removable timber wall. And then the inverter hangs here and we're ready to rock hopefully okay so i hope that covers a bit of a range of information in regards to uh, what all this stuff does and how it's hooked up uh, if you've got any questions leave a comment Stage one complete. It's looking pretty good. Uh, all we've got left to do is we're just waiting on the electrician to come to do some 240 uh, in the inverter and give us a power point. That'll be his job. I'm not messing with the 240 side of things. Apart from the rest of it, um, it's all good. Up and running. Been going for a few days now. I do still need to install the solar panel on top, but we're just waiting on a few little bits and pieces. So I've had it plugged in just to a, a, another solar panel just on the ground over here. So it's been charging up, working quite nice. The fridge has been running well. Everything runs nicely. Pretty happy with this build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna finish my cold beer and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. See ya.